Now, you have learned how to play shotgun. You are an absolute savage with a G chord, a C chord, an E minor chord, and a D chord. What? Now, there's one chord that's missing in the sequence that I want you to get into, and I want you to get very comfortable with because it is very, very important in in this in this stuff. Which, when you go through my um, core music theory stuff, I will be going into the music theory element of why these chords are super important. So, there will be stuff that you can learn um, that is not that crazy to jump into. It'll be very practical, but just trust me when I say there's one more chord shape that you need to nail, and it's called an A minor. Uh, if you can nail the A minor shape, these five chords will provide a really solid foundation of any song, any song that's in the key of the G. Now, when previously we were talking about a capo video, it means that any song I have on my capo that moves all the way up, I mean, look, when you get further up on the fretboard, like say the 12th fret, literally anywhere I put this capo, if I know a G chord, a C chord, a D chord, E minor, and an A minor. I can play a just, there's there's hundreds of songs just in those five chords. Um, and they're going to provide a very, very solid foundation, which will which will be, we will reference as the G shape or the key of G. Um, so you will be playing songs in the key of G, but in different keys. So that all it means is that you'll be using your G shape as your anchor. And then you'll be playing your C chord, D chord, E minor, and A minor, just like that. But obviously in this, in this context, I am now in a completely different key to when I take the capo off and it's. So that might be very confusing at the beginning. You might be like, what? Did Luan just say, this does not make any sense. This guy, he's going a million miles an hour. Like, I don't like this. Uh, yes, you are correct. There is a lot of information that is being thrown at you. Do not expect to know it. You do not have to know this off by heart. All you need to know is trust me and I'm going to help you and you are going to get very good. Just do what I say. Like, just know how to play a G, know how to play a C chord, know how to play a D, know how to play E minor. And now we shall know how to play an A minor. Now the A minor is a very easy chord because you know how to play a C. So let's start off on our C shape. And what we're gonna do from C is you're gonna go, instead from going the three on the A, two on the D, zero on the G, one on the B and zero on the E. All we're doing here is we're gonna grab our third finger that you already have here on the third fret and we're gonna bring it down underneath our second finger. So on the two of the G string, and then you're gonna play open on the A string. So that is one way to reference it to make it quite easy for you. But if, you, if that is confusing, we will just start building it on our own. So that will be zero on the A. Gonna get your second finger, your middle finger, two on the D, your ring finger, two on the on the G, and then your first finger, index, index finger, will be first fret uh, B string, and then open E. So you're gonna go A, open A, and strum through. So open on the A, two on the D, two on the G, one on the B, open E. And that's your A minor. Now, the song that I want you to jump into right away is going to be called Tennessee Whiskey. What? Cool song, right? Um, and the strumming pattern that I want you to do is a thing that we call 6-8. So previously in Shotgun, it was a thing that we called 4-4, which is four beats in a bar. Now, 6-8 is where you have six beats in one bar. And typically, it has what we call a triplet feel. So uh, it's what we... like. The best way to for you to understand any of these rhythms is to hear them and then replicate them. So six eight is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And four four is one, two, three, four. Now these can always be subdivided and you can do a bunch of fancy stuff, but as a beginner, don't worry about any of that. All you need to know is it's 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our capo. The actual key of the song is in the key of A. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on capo two. So second fret, we're going to put it here. So we're essentially moving the the front, the, the nut of the guitar all the way up to there. And then we're going to be playing the G shape. So you can hear that. So what we're doing is we're going to be accenting or like making a strong, uh, strong hit on the one and then the four and then the two, three, five, six will be weak. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the rhythm. So strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong. That is like your ultimate goal if you can do that. And then what you want to do is if you can't handle that chord change, just go one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. So you're going to be, you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. As sweet as strawberry wine. That's what that's what the lyrics are doing with the chords. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just do it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then um and you're basically going G, A minor, A minor, G. And that's it. That is the whole song. There's nothing crazy happening there. So obviously that's how the key goes. You just spend my time. And that's all we're doing. Just having fun with the G to the A minor. So you just want to get comfortable with that G to A minor. And then we shall see from there what songs that you guys might want to tackle. But yeah. Um, if you don't have a capo, take the capo off and you just play the G shape as normal from starting from the open. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, free, feel free to ask me. If this content is a bit too hardcore for you, just let me know. Um, uh, typically, I would like to challenge you. I don't want to give you some like super, super basic like, oh, you're going to do one note at a time and eventually get that. No, I believe in you. It takes a lot of hard work. It is not easy. Um, please understand that it is painful Every time you are learning a new skill, it sucks. So just understand that whatever you're going through, I went through it. Chris Stapleton went through it. Every single person who ever picked up a guitar and wanted to play something like that is going through this. So just know that you are just doing what we already did. We already went through this crappy feeling of sucking at playing a chord and it always making bad notes and the rhythm was wrong and things like that. That is natural. That is completely normal. Um, and once you get over that, you'll be like, oh my God, I, you'll hit a point where you just hit a G chord like a, like a boss every single time. And you'll be like, oh, well, I, I, I have now unlocked the G skill, you know? Or you get the A minor chord, you're like, I've unlocked this skill. You know, like every time you hit a chord and you're like, nail that chord, you'll be like, oh my God. It's like a video game. You like unlock a new status and it's like you never go below that because you've already got it forever for the rest of your life. So just remember that. 
all the hard work you put into these chord shapes that you're trying to learn and they seem like super hard, as soon as you do it and you really get it, it's done. Forever, you can play those chords and you will continue to learn more songs and you will continue to hone those skills and they will sound better and better and better. So don't lose hope if it's uh, painful for you to get these first five chords that we've been tackling between Shotgun and Tennessee Whiskey. So have fun, give me feedback, and um, we shall move on to the final portion of the beginner uh, guitar course, which is going to be very, very interesting for you guys. So check out the next episode of Beginner Guitar Course. (laughs) 